given the white challenge, I was pretty excited after I pulled out the lamp because I knew immediately that I had to give it my own spin and my own personal touch. Um, I love redecorating things and I love giving things a new spin. So this was exciting for me. So I had a few ideas that I wanted to play around with. My first idea was to make like a nautical theme, but I didn't have all the materials to do so. So my second idea I kind of accidentally came across. I had this roll of fabric that was left from my old previous canopy DIY over on my channel, Anna Shine. And I just, you know, I wanted to make this a while ago, um, this project, but I just didn't have the time to. So I thought this was a great opportunity to take that idea and incorporate it into this idea. Um, this is something that I saw at a department store and that was very costly, but I was able to make this with things that I had already sitting at home. And I hope you guys will enjoy this DIY. It's really pretty, it's really cute, and let's get started. Hey guys, how's it going? So I decided for my white project that I am going to make some lace flowers since I have a whole bunch of material from my canopy DIY. So I have this much left, about like two yards of this. And all I have to do is um, cut them into strips like this right here. And for this project, all I would need fabric scissor, a hot glue gun, and some glue sticks, or lots and lots of glue sticks. We are going to start by making a ton of these lace flowers. First, cut out a bunch of two inch by one yard strips of fabric. I must have cut out about 50 of these. Next, one by one, let's make the flowers. We are looking for texture, not a perfect flower, remember that. It takes two to three practice flowers to get the hang of this technique. After you get the hang of it, make these and watch your favorite show or whatever you like to watch. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to do first is fold the strips in half the long way. On one end, dab a little glue and fold it inward like a triangle. By doing so, it will help you create a starting point. From there, I wrap the material around about three times to create a bud and something to hold onto. As you do this, you can dab some glue on the bottom of your bud so that way it can hold in place. Next, continue to wrap the material around. This time I make a fold going outward opposite of me and down for every one time I wrap the material around. It might take a few more tries before you can actually form a flower and don't worry if your flowers look messy. This is all about creating texture, not perfect flowers. Every couple of wraps secure your progress with a dab of hot glue so that way the flower doesn't fall apart. Once you finish the flower, set it aside and start another one. Time will fly by super quick if you're watching TV and making these flowers all at the same time. Once you make a large enough amount, it's time to glue the flowers onto the lampshade. Start with the bottom row of the lampshade and with even spacing, hot glue in the flowers one by one. Once you fill up one row, start another and keep on going until you fill up your entire lampshade. All right guys, so that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. I absolutely love how the end result turned out. It's so pretty. It looks like something that I would find at a store. And um, I did it for all on a budget. I'm so proud of this DIY. I hope you guys like it too. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next Friday. Bye. Bye.